turning now to our other top story. That is the search for the terrorist who beheaded American journalist James Foley. There are some reports this morning that British intelligence agents have identified the man who killed Foley. Keir Simmons is following those developments from London for us. Keir, good morning. Erica, good morning. There are those indications this morning that U.S. and British intelligence agencies have identified James Foley's killer. British newspapers report that the search has been narrowed down to one name. Some reports even claim to know who that person is. But there is a lot of wild speculation, one British official told me. And it's worth noting that this is a live investigation, Erica, with the primary aim of saving the life of another American hostage threatened by ISIS. Investigators may be treading carefully while working to find out who the hostage takers are and and crucially, where they are, very likely there are people in London who know who the killer is. His British accent suggests he is from this city, but so far there is no sign of police raids targeting friends or family of the suspects, again suggesting police and security officials here are taking a softly, softly approach while working tirelessly, tirelessly behind the scenes, Erica. All right, Keir Simmons in London this morning. Keir, thank you. So this is a suspect that British intelligence is considering in this death. He's a former hip-hop rapper from London who allegedly left to fight for ISIS in Syria sometime last year. So joining us now from our Beacon Hill studio, we bring in Anthony Amore, lecturer in Homeland Security at Fisher College. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you, Shabani. You know, in this awful video of his execution, intelligence officials, they say that they could tell a lot about the the killer from the height they say they saw his eyes and then his voice as well even targeting a british accent how did those details lead them to this former rapper from london well uh this abdel bari the uh former rapper has lots of uh images and um voice samples of himself on the internet already and uh the intelligence officials not just the united states but uh amongst our allies will help to look at this uh uh, information and compare it to what they saw in the video with the uh, journalist Mr. Foley. Uh, there's a lot of uh, voice uh, recognition technology that allows uh, intelligence experts to match what was in the video to the existing voice data um, from Abdel Bari. So this is some pretty sophisticated voice and facial recognition programs that they're using. And I was reading as well that they're doing something. They're vein matching the hands. They're actually comparing one picture to another. How can we be sure we're going after the right guy, though? How sophisticated, how, how precise is that? Well, you're referring to the vascular technology to look at the, the vein patterns. And that was used successfully in the past uh, when uh, uh, Daniel Pearl was executed in the same manner as uh, Mr. Foley. They saw the, the hands of Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, the 9-11 mastermind, and they were able to match his actual, the actual pattern of the veins in his hands to what they saw in the video. So this is very precise technology, and it only gets better every year. So we're fortunate to have it now. And they can follow that, that trail, essentially, on social media. Bari, I guess, reportedly left London last year to travel to Syria. That's when authorities believe he joined up with ISIS forces there. But that would, that would be further evidence of a pretty disturbing trend as to where they are getting the people who are fighting for them. Americans, now we have someone from London, all over the world joining this movement. What should we make of this? That is a very disturbing trend. Now that you have um, Westerners, when you have Europeans, not just British, they estimate about 500 uh, British uh, citizens fighting with the Islamic State, uh, citizens of France. These are people who can come to the United States without a visa. And that makes it uh, very um, onerous for us here because the Islamic State definitely wants to bring the fight to uh, the continental United States. Identified the executioner of American photojournalist James Foley. According to the Sunday Times, MI5 and MI6 have worked out the identity of the masked beheader known by his comrades as John. No further details have been disclosed, but a key suspect is a 23-year-old rapper from West London named Abdel Majid Abdel Bari. He went to Syria last year to join Takfiri insurgents and later tweeted a picture of himself holding up a severed head. Investigators say Abdel Bari has a similar accent to the man who decapitated Foley and has a similar build and skin tone. Last week, ISIL released a propaganda video showing a militant beheading the kneeling journalist who went missing in Syria two years ago. Lyricist Jin, SBTV warm up sessions. All, time, all my family you know who you are. Yo. 
Paul Zami, Lyricist Jin, SBTV warm up sessions. All that, all my family you know who you are. Photos have now emerged charting the decline of Abdel Mahat Abdel Barry doing rap in a British studio. That photo contrasts one of him in military fatigues and masks, wielding a machine gun. The pictures come from a Facebook page which have since been removed, in which he attacks Western propaganda. The 24-year-old Barry left London for Syria last year. As a rapper, he went by the name El Ginny.